Always mixed it. Joyful parenting coaching. Thinking about your teenager and how to connect to them. And a lot of our focus with our teens is their performance, their academic performance, their athletic performance. Have they learned the lines for the school play? Have they practiced that passage on the violin? When we focus on their performances and their development, we give them the notion that we only value them when they are performing and that that is what makes them important to us and what makes us proud of them. When on the other hand, we give a wider scope of things to be proud about, then we give them a chance to see that it is their contribution to the world, not just to their own development, but to our household and to other people that is valuable. And the real trick in this for our teens is that usually those things are easier to do. So when we ask our children to take responsibility, whether it's for you know making their own lunch or um, even helping to, to make our own dinner, we are giving them a different way of showing up in the world and a different way in which we can express our pride and our pleasure. So think about that. Think about if you have trained a child to make a meal and they are now taking one meal a week. I don't know about you. I am always so grateful when somebody puts hot food in front of me, right? So when as a parent you praise a child for doing that and for their improvement in doing that, not only are you acknowledging them and connecting to them in that way, but it's really genuine. That is a real life situation. Dinner needs to be cooked. The family needs to be fed. And when your teen has been the one to do that and you then go like, oh, Thank you so much. Oh, this is wonderful. Boy, you're doing a really nice job getting the meat right. It's not too dry. It's cooked enough. That is, first of all, it's reproducible, right? So often teens think that their school performance, which is usually evaluated by a teacher, by somebody else, is random in some way right? That if I've gotten an A on an essay, it's, well, oh, because Mrs. Stitt likes me. Or, you know, oh, Mrs. Stitt's an easy grader. Or there's some other reason. It's not because of my hard work and my diligence. And so we give our kids something concrete to do, something that they can reproduce. And something which is of real value. If they had not cooked dinner, then you would have had to cook dinner. And by having somebody else cook dinner, you, they've lowered your stress level. They've improved your life. This really is significant. It's significant that when a child helps out in the household, they have made your life better. Your teen is never going to say that they want to make your life better. They're not going to act like it because after all, they're busy trying to push away from you. And at the same time, that underlying tug, that underlying feel is like, of course we want to please our parents, right? And when we please them with something real, right? I'm sorry. I'm an English teacher. Of course, I'm going to argue the value of writing an analytic essay on something. But at the end of the day, oh, come on, who cares? Nobody reads it but the teacher. Whereas a meal is concrete, it's necessary, it's needed, it's made a palpable, tangible difference in somebody's life. So when we ask our kids to take responsibility for something in the household, it gives them a point of pride that has real life implications and applications. And it's probably easier than doing calculus or a complex experiment. Meet the teenage brain's need for rebellion by giving them opportunities to be grown up. What is more grown up than cooking dinner, right? We all know that we wish we didn't have to adult in that way all the time. But, you know, a 12, 13, 14 year old is ready and anxious to adult. And when you give them the space to do that and then praise them for it, it's one way 
that you can make that connection.